Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing a video review of the Kobe MP837 8GB MP3 player. I've been using it for the past week and I'm going to give my conclusions of it in this video. So here's what it came with. I'll start off with the manual. Kobe, the languages it's in. It's also a limited warranty, which is useless because Kobe went out of business. Incredibly short charging and data uh, data cable for the player as well as a little felt protective sleeve I wouldn't even call it uh, eh, I guess it has some quality in it better than nothing I guess as well as headphones which aren't bad they are usable but much there are much nicer headphones that I would prefer to use Let's get all that out of the way and get to the player. So here's the player. Very nice, sleek design to it. And the first thing you notice when you pick it up, it doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels like it has quality in it. Unusual for MP3 players most of the time. On the right side, you have your power slash lock button. Bottom, you have your 3.5 millimeter standard um, headphone jack. A very small reset button. You, if you ever use it, you, I think you need a needle. I don't even know if paperclip will fit in there. And then your charging and data port, micro USB. Then on the left side, you have your volume rocker, up and down. Again, the buttons don't feel cheap. It feels like you can actually use them. Um, top, nothing really that special. Then on the back here, Kobe. Uh, 8 gigabyte, like I said, not expandable. There's no micro SD card slot or anything. Um, model number and all. Made in China. Smudges on the screen. Back button. And a nice big 3 inch LCD display. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Just hold it down. Blue light comes on. Kobe. Battery, time, music, video, photo, radio, text, explore, calendar, calculator, world clock, and setting. Let's just go in order down. Let's go to music. Go into music. This we see title, album, artist, etc. Like I said, it's touch screen, so you just move your finger down to scroll through your music. If you can do it fast, it'll scroll through it really quickly. You can sort it by album. It shows album art as well when you sort it by album. Artist. This one takes a little while to load. A whole lot of M and M's. Woo. Genres. I never set my genres. You can go through each one of your songs and set what genre it belongs to, but I didn't want to put in the effort of going through all my songs. Favorites. I don't have any, so it's just going to be empty. An explorer, which we'll get to later. So let's just play a song. I don't know. It's just. Uh, what's a good song? You can also scroll through faster if you want. If you you don't have to go slow, but I am, so I can just. I don't know. Let's just do. Hmm. Mad World, why not? So as you can see, it has album art. And all these lines that you're seeing in the camera aren't actually when you look at the player, it's just the camera that I'm using is picking up the LCD display. You can you can change the EQ, sort it, you can loop all of them, pause it, you can play go back you can drag and like I, it doesn't have a built-in speaker or anything so you need headphones or a speaker or something to play music otherwise it just won't and like what it just did if you turn to the side you can scroll through all your albums what which is actually pretty cool 
when you're sorting through your music, getting out of focus. Okay, now we have video. Video on this is uh, smooth. Smooth video playback, I guess. Drag it back to the beginning. It runs at 29.5 frames a second. It's LCD display, so it looks pretty crisp and clear. Yeah, all these lines on the camera, that doesn't appear to the naked eye when you actually have the player hands on. Yeah, but very nice smooth playback, like uh, you can drag it for options for this one. You can actually take a snapshot like of something in the video, you can take a screenshot. Or you can, if it doesn't fit the screen all the way, you can manual it, you can stretch it out to fit it. But this one fits. Okay, let's go back. Photos. Loading. These are all the stock photos that came with it. Turn it to the side, make it bigger. Zoom, three seconds, which is for the slideshow, which we'll show you in a second. Manual rotation if you turn the G sensor off. And manual brightness. Let's go ahead and play. Has animations for every time it switches a slide. The images on are actually very crisp and clear. And the app for you guys, I can see that you're getting all the lines and stuff, but when you actually have it, it's very detailed, like for example, all the on the water, you can see each individual ripple. Or in the bush here, you can see all the individual leaves. So when you actually have it hands-on, it's very crisp and clear. Very vivid colors, too, especially on that purple right there. With the orange. Very nice. Definitely good colors. Okay. Now, moving on to FM radio. Normally on a player's it would say please connect headphones because it uses your headphones as an antenna but on this one it has it built in so that means it has really good reception. And I've been using the radio on this surprisingly a lot and it's never lost signal. So definitely a good um, radio built in. Then we have text here. I got example one. You can scroll through like this. You can add bookmarks or you can change the color of the text if you want. I like the white but it has white, blue, green, and yellow. You really can't see that on the camera that well but. And you can manually go through pages if you don't want to slide with your finger you can do that. Or you can turn to the side and read like this. Very simple, nothing too special but it works. Explore, which is what was in music that I said I'd get to later. It just lets you explore everything that's on the player, whether it supports it or not. Such as PDFs, the player doesn't support that, but... Or they're not support. But it lets you see that it's on the player. So you can see what's taking up space, how many megabytes um, stuff is, and so on. Nice feature to have. Calendar. Again, simplistic, useful. Down here you have a little plus menu and today. I don't have anything scheduled for today. But if we go to this plus icon, you can leave yourself notes. Instead of having a key uh, keypad down here to um, like type in what your note is, you have to use your fingers. And I actually find this pretty funny because if you have to remind yourself to do something, typically you cannot write small enough to like leave yourself a note. So I tend to draw pictures of what I need to do and some of them come out really funny so I actually kind of like this feature or if you're just bored see what you can draw on here. It's kind of like a paint on Windows except for MP3 player. Definitely a fun idea and it actually traces your finger pretty well because I saw another touchscreen MP3 player I had did not like you would draw up here and you draw down here. It was, it was not good. Let's go back. Calculator. Again, simplistic, useful. It doesn't do negatives like it does, but it doesn't have the negative sign. So if you have a negative number, 
it'll look like a positive, so you just kind of have to keep track of that in your head. But if we just do like 6 plus 6, 12, you can do math. Miracle. But useful. World clock. I'm not too sure why it has a world clock. But, you know, you want to know what time it is in Berlin? There you go. And lastly, setting. Sound, display, general, timer, information, language. Sound, you can select all the EQs that it has. I have it set to user EQ. Factory comes set as normal. And here's where you can edit your user EQ to fit your listening preference. And then we have uh, display. Backlight, which is how long it takes when, when there's no activity. How long it takes for the screen to go black. Brightness. Have it set it came default level three. One being dimmest, two being middle, oop, and three being the brightest. Then after display we have general. General has a lot of settings as you can see. Radio settings, you can select what area you're in, US world, Europe, Japan, as well as the sensitivity, high, me uh, middle, low. Format, which erases everything that's on here. Low default, which is basically the same as format. LED setting, on and off. That's for the light that's in the button on the back. And yeah, the light, as you can see, it's set to on, but there, it's not on. It that's when the the screen is dark from being inactive and it's playing music. Oh, the light in here will pulse like every three seconds or so just to let you know it's playing music and you can turn that feature on and off but I think it looks pretty cool so I just leave it on G sensor if you don't like the auto rotate feature that it has when you turn to the side um, you can switch that on and off and vibrator for when you touch the screen as a subtle vibration to let you know that it registered your finger you can turn that feature on and off as well resume play if you left a song midway through and you turn off the player you turn it back on, you can zoom from where you left off. I personally don't like that feature, and I have it off. Timer. Sleep time, which is for the player, how long of its, if there's no uh, activity, how long it takes for it to turn itself off. And this is actually has an off feature. For some reason, MP3 players usually don't have an off feature, but this one does. Which is very nice because then you don't have to turn it back on. And it has 120 minutes, so two hours as the max or off. Very nice to have an off feature so you don't have to turn it back on. Date and clock, self explanatory, move it up and down, as well as the date. Information shows you everything what kind of player is, software version, hardware version, battery, voltage, battery status, memory, free memory, etc. And language. Eh, it doesn't have a whole lot of languages. It has all the major ones. And I guess that's really all you need. And that's that. Go ahead and turn it off. Just hold it just like how you turned it on. And that is the Kobe MP837 8GB. Uh, MP3 player. This was I bought refurbished for 50 bucks, and I'd say it's definitely worth it, especially for being a touchscreen MP3 player, nonetheless. And it actually has a touchscreen that works, because if you guys remember this one, this one didn't work. Well, it works. You just have to press with all your might to get it to register your finger with this one you can just brush and it will register your finger so very nice player very nice build quality as well it doesn't feel cheapo plastic it is plastic in case you were wondering it's plastic all around but you know it feels like if you press this button it's not gonna break you can drop it it won't fall apart very nice 
Alright, that concludes my video review of the Kobe 837 8GB touchscreen MP3 player. Overall, very impressed. Very happy that I bought it too. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a comparison video of the Kobe versus the Visualand V Touch Pro because it's the only other touchscreen MP3 player I have, and I'm going to be comparing the different features and which does what better and so on. So, thank you guys for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next review.